Hi guys! Okay, so obviously I just finished my 4th of the July tutorial, so that's why I'm wearing this makeup. Um, I'm just doing a collective haul of some things I bought, and I probably won't upload this until I get some more things in the mail. Um, just depends on how long it takes, so I might not have this up for like another week. So, I eh, just wanted to show you guys what I've been getting. Um, okay, first... I already used this in the tutorial, that's why I kind of wanted to get this up as soon as possible. Um, this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil um, in Milk. If you guys know how to like, if it's supposed to twist up or something, because I know you can't really sharpen the plastic one. So I don't really know if you guys, if you guys know how to make it longer, let me know. But yeah, I've been like... I've been really, really wanting to try this out, and some of you guys have been asking, like, how does it compare to the Urban Decay ones? Well, now I will be able to tell you, so probably in my hits and misses, I'll probably tell you guys what I think about this compared to the Urban Decay ones, so keep a lookout for that. And then I finally got these brushes. I've been wanting these brushes for such a long time. These are the Sigmax brushes by Sigma. Ooh. The I got the F84 and the F82. Um, the F84 is just the, what's it called? Angled Top Kabuki. And then I got the F82, which is the Round Top Kabuki. Um, I only got these two. These were on sale. So they were originally 32, um, and I got them for 24, I believe. So I think that's a pretty good deal. They're like, what, $16 each, and then you pay 16 for one and 6 for another, and you're good to go. Okay, maybe not six, eight dollars. It's still a good deal. I still think it was a good deal for both because I really didn't want the other ones. I really don't like the sharp one. Probably wouldn't have used that. So I think this is a better deal than getting all four. I don't really think it's necessary. So next is um this mud pack. I love these things. I know it's all dirty. I already used it once. Um, it has like two or three uses in it. If you, especially if you have like a smaller face. So my face is kind of big. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. Okay. Um. But I really love these. They have like tons of these at um, Ulta. They have tons of these at Ulta, and I almost always pick one up just because I feel like they're so relaxing. You look like a like a monster when you're wearing it, but they're so you just feel at I don't know so relaxed. So it's like a Zen moment when you wear this. Just like sit back and just do whatever, lay down. And this is like the anti-stress one, which I really wanted to try out. It smells like men's cologne, this one in particular, but eh, it's not that bad. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this one supposedly has some sort of sea kelp. It's supposed to be good for your skin. You only need like this once a week, so the most you would use up a month would be like two or three. So, And they're like two bucks each. I think that's a pretty good price. So I really love these. These are so good. I forgot to mention this in my hits and misses, but... Definitely suggest trying these out. They're awesome. I finally picked up the Revlon, what is it, the Colorstay Whipped Cream Foundation. Um, thankfully, they were out of 320, which is what I was going to buy. And I ended up buying 330, which I think is kind of a perfect match. I'm wearing it right now, so is it a good match? I think so. So it was kind of a good thing that they were out of 320 or else I would have gotten that one. It might have been too light for me. So um, <clears throat> if you guys want to review on this, let me know. I know there's already tons up, so I don't think it's absolutely essential, but if you never know. Um, basically gives you a matte finish. I'm not wearing powder right now. Um, it's thick unless you kind of blend it out a lot. I do. I grab like a tiny bit and then I blend it out really well. And then I grab a little more, and then I blend it out really well, so it gives a more sheer coverage. But you can definitely build it up if you want to give it more thicker coverage, or heavier, I guess. Um, finally, I got from the MAC Heavenly Creature Collection. I just got these yesterday, um, but I already used them. Sorry. <laughs> I wanted to show them to you when they were still kind of new. I got a blush and a mineralized skin finish. Um, I've never tried one of these, so I'm kind of excited for that. Um, I got the mineralized skin finish in Center of the Universe. And I can swatch it for you, I guess. 
This is what it looks like. It's kind of like an orangey color. You just can see right there. So that's what that one looks like. It's kind of an orangey one. I like it. I wore this yesterday to work. And then, and finally, I bought, I got the blush in Ring of Saturn. A lot of people wanted Supernova, and I think it's already sold out online. But I mean, I'm not a big, big pink person. I don't really like wearing pink very often. So that's what it looks like. Nope. A little similar. This one's just more like on the pinky side, and that one's more like on the orangey side. You guys can see that. So that's Ring of Saturn, that's Center of the Universe. So I really like those. I'll talk about these more in my hits and misses, and I'll upload this once I have everything I got in the mail. So I'll see you guys again when I get the rest of my stuff. Okay, continuing on in my haul video, I only have like five more things. Well, two of them are like sets. Uh, I picked up these Josie Marin little lip balms from QVC. They're 30 bucks, I think, for two. And they're just these adorable little pots. Look at them. They're adorable. Oh my god. And at first, when I saw them on TV, they don't tell you, or maybe I wasn't paying attention. That doesn't it look like it's just gonna like. How does it stay on? How does the lid stay on? Like, you know, you twist it. I did not know that at first, and I was like, how does the lid stay on? Isn't it like mess up the product? But you just twist it. Isn't it cute? It looks like a little genie bottle, or yeah, I don't know, something from like India or something. I don't know. It looks so cool. And then that's the product. And these things are so soft. They're like so buttery soft. Um, probably the only downsides are probably, I don't I'm not crazy about the smell. It smells kind of like, when I put it on, it smells kind of like generic chapstick or, I don't even know, like generic something. This one smells like generic chapstick, like cherry chapstick. And, you know, I figured for something that's like, thirty dollars it'd be like some amazing smell or like something unexpected not cherry chapstick this one smells a little rough this one is in this one smells yeah this one's in pure and it's just like a neutral color and this one is in passion passion and this is like a kind of like a sheer red um still comes on really sheer. It has like a very, very light tint, but you guys know I love my lip balms. And I'm planning on doing like a best and worst lip balms just because I have quite a few. Okay, I don't have that many. I have like 10. Is that a lot? Is that a lot? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, keeping, keep on going. Um, I just picked up these two Shampoo and conditioner, because uh, I was running low on the little size. Little size, I feel like, runs out super quick. So I figured I might as well get the bigger size. This is the Macadamia Rejuvenating Shampoo. It's color safe, paraben free, and sulfate free. Very good, very natural. Made with macadamia oil, which apparently is really good for your hair, I guess. And then I picked up the moisturizing rinse, which is basically the conditioner. And I also used their nourishing cream, but that one actually, I have the little bottle and it's lasted me quite a long time. I've had that one the longest and it's still there. Okay, and finally I picked up this Healthy Sexy Hair uh, Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. And I bought all these on Amazon because it's way cheaper. Um, so it has like soy and cocoa and stuff like that. So this one, I actually just tried it yesterday, and I feel like it still made a difference. Like, it made my hair feel really soft. I feel like once my hair gets used to a product, it's not as soft as when I started using it. So when I, I just started using this yesterday, I felt, I think, it felt a lot softer than normally with the other sh just shampoos and conditioner. So that's pretty much it for this haul. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!